to wait and see see how it did. Wait, sound like someone's bragging. <laughs> A little bit. Hey guys, thanks for joining us again on our Epic Tank Show. Thanks for coming back. Visit episode three. I'm Epic. And I'm Tank. And I have something for us to talk about today. Oh, so, what is that? What that shall be is I recently watched a comedy special on Netflix with Whitney Cummings. And in this comedy special, she brought up something that really intrigued me. And it is sex bots. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a story about this, but I do have some questions for you guys and what you think about this scenario. Oh, yeah. Currently... There are some pretty lifelike sex bots that are out there on the market. And they are just advancing, you know, day after day. And what she brought up was that some of these sex bots, which look very, very lifelike, um, I guess there's some women in the world that may be worried that sex bots are going to replace them. And then she went into the big long skit about it. But here's where my questions come about. So her worry is really that men will not need women anymore if they have sex bots. And then it led me to think about some stuff. So, anybody who's ever been in a relationship realizes that this relationship ultimately is the, the man... Oh, yeah. <laughs> dead? Did you say dead? <laughs> yeah. Is that where you're going with? Oh, yeah. I guess that's not the relationship that we have anymore. <laughs> I, I thought that we were going to last forever. Yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of dead, you know? Uh, No, all, yeah, no, relationships absolutely are. So, ultimately, I'm going to be very, um, I guess, politically incorrect about some of this. Um, relationships tend to be a man who is allowed to be inside of a woman's vagina. And then the rest of your relationship is you trying to keep that woman happy so you can continue to be allowed inside her vagina. Yeah, I have a question. Yes. What's a vagina? It's, um, well, boys have a penis and girls have a vagina. Okay, that makes us different. Yeah. I always thought the arms did, did, but <laughs> no, my mistake. No, it, it's, it's a vagina. It's, um, located below the belly button, but above the knees. <laughs> my thigh. Yes, it's somewhere okay. in there. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, you, know what, you, know what, you know what, keep going. Keep going. And so these robots have those. These robots have vaginas, and apparently very lifelike vaginas. They also have very lifelike faces and eyeballs and mouths, and they can move their mouth and move their eyes and talk to you, communicate with you like it's a built-in Alexa inside these things. But the worry that these women have is that if the man doesn't need the woman for sex, then what would the man need the woman for? Is that the question? So, how do you feel about the idea that there may be sex spots in the near future? And if they were affordable, that you could run out and buy one. Would you? Would I? <clears throat> Would Let's you? See, do I have a girlfriend in this you know, situation? Doesn't matter. Okay. Doesn't, you can choose. Well, yes no. if I, if, you, you can make that your story. Okay, okay. My story would be if I had one, if I had a girlfriend, I would need a sex spot. But if I was, you know, didn't have a girlfriend and I get a sex spot. Yeah, definitely. Because it would be a normal thing. Because they have stores, so it wouldn't be weird at all. Yes. But if I was the first right. one that it's, buys it's it, that. yeah. If I was the first one that buys it, I'd be like, oh man, I'm the only one that has a sex butt, and everybody thinks this is weird. And I probably wouldn't do it at that point. But if it was like normal, everybody has it. Why not? So Whitney my girl actually might even like it. Place. So well, Whitney actually went to the place that they make them, and she actually purchased one because her and her fiance are going to be married. And she was buying him one as a gift, as a, you know what, I'm too tired, why don't you just go have sex with Robot Whitney? Yeah. So that, there's a very big possibility that thing, you know, there's women out there that could do that. Oh, yeah. Now, the oddity of this, being a woman, does that mean that you believe that your only worth to a male is the vagina? And have you created that in your relationship to make you think that that's what you want from a man? <laughs> well, if, if the yeah. guy does that, he doesn't deserve a girl. So, <laughs> I just say it. It's all about personality. But, they do have something to be worried about. Because they're they're proud women now. You know what I mean? If you look yeah, at media, cool. they always say, you know, it was sexual assault. And I'm like, well, now I have a robot now. 
Uh, right. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> maybe no maybe one's touching you now. Like that, you just give them robots so they quit going out <laughs> sexually assaulting people. Yeah, yeah now I got a robot. You're, <laughs> she's better. She looks better. I can make her have big eyes, small eyes, small nose, big nose. You can actually choose much more than that. They you oh, go shit. choose the size of the breast, and there's like 38 different types of nipples that you can get for these things. Oh yeah. Should I be having like 10 so, of them? Maybe 20. Like you are literally going to produce what you think at that time is your perfect woman. You, you know what would be kind of cool though if the sex bot can like you can make a baby with it if you really want one with your sperm and then you take that. You have an android that comes out? No, 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 no. <laughs> you just have sex with it and you, and you really love this bot. You know what I mean? Let's say this bot had a, like the voice of a uh, Scarlett Johansson, right? In that yep. movie, her. <laughs> and you're like, and she talks just like that, right? Like, I think I'm falling for you. And yeah, and they have a baby that way. You know, you just come in a fucking bot, and then you take that bot, uh, take that little thing, and go to a doctor. You know what I mean? All right, here's my sperm so buddy. It, it basically is just a sperm catcher for you. <laughs> exactly. You go buy somebody else's. Well, eggs it's and... all about the fantasy, right? Right. It's all about the fantasy, <laughs> and that's how this person wants to do it. Hey, oh, it, it will okay, be okay. So. so. so Tanker's getting a bot so he can have a baby with it, so then he doesn't actually need to have a real woman. Don't need yeah, a woman. No, you're, you're starting to eliminate women. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't have to worry about sexual assault. I don't have to worry about she's hitting me. Uh, she's very educational. She'll sit down and watch, you know, cartoons with me. <laughs> yeah. And you know what I mean? Like, anything she she you want, she will do. So... Do you expect that AI will eventually grow its own consciousness? That it will no. evolve to where it has its own consciousness? No, unless I hit it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. You start so, smacking uh, on it. Yeah, it's smacking it, and then all of a sudden, you know, like, quit touching me. I was like, well, you acting like a real woman right now. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't think technology would do that. You know what I mean? I don't think we'll allow it to happen. I think there will be like a, uh, you know, a turn off switch. Because if they do, that would be retarded if they don't have a turn off switch. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, regular women have a turn off switch. They're just turned off at everything. <laughs> yeah. You know, but like I said, I would probably wouldn't mind at all. Girl might like it. You know what I mean? It's like so, I, ha I have threesomes all the time. <laughs> So I thought about that actually. <laughs> yeah, I had threesomes really all the time. Is that for you though? Or like the the robot just lays there. Like you're getting you getting out well, of the Well, does the robot, the robot move? Right, or does so, it just so stay far, still? The lower portion of the body seemed very much more um, silicone and synthetic. It didn't seem to have you know movement. Arms and legs didn't move independently. Just its head, eyes, mouth. Oh no, I wouldn't um, get one. Eyelids. Yeah, it wasn't. I, th like I it thought was we was talking around. about a real robot, you know, that moves, you know what I mean? Sits down with me. That's what we So then very similar to the game, you know, the Detroit game. Yeah, I thought we was talking An about that type of robot. That's walking around with it. Yeah, I thought we was talking so. about those type of robots. No, I would not get one of those dogs if it just if it just lays on its back. No, I don't no. know. What I think is what I think is really weird about this is these women are worried about this robot because these guys might fall in love with this robot, but there's been sex dolls forever. And oh, yeah. Like, you're not more worried about a dude that is banging a piece of plastic versus this thing that is built like a a flashlight, like, it, you know, like it's built specifically for this. You're you're not worried about the thing, that the dude who's banging a balloon. Yeah. But you're worried about the dude who's banging a robot that was made for this. Yeah. They're just crazy out there, dude. That's like, okay, are we so, afraid of them having dildos on a bot? You know, no, not necessarily. Hmm. So yeah, play with your dildo. I don't care. Uh, I would assume that there's going to be male ones that are made. Like I feel that they're going to make male ones for the women, so the women yeah. should be proud of that. Because then. They really don't need anything. I mean, they need a guy to come over and help, um, you know, lift some heavy objects. Or I'll anything. do that. It depends on how she is. Like, <laughs> let's say, is your sister single still? No, my sister's still married. Damn it. Both of them. Damn. Yeah. 
shit up. Well, that would be a full robot then, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so then... I then thought we were talking really about full serious, robots too, so I was so like... The, the really serious question here would then actually need to be if there's actual real robots... Damn it. And that's our time. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for joining the show. All right. I well, hope to see you next time. Deuces. That was a great shot right to my elbow. Quit fucking shooting me. Uh, I got a bull. I know you're not going to help me now. <laughs> There's a bull over there. I am trying to. You still help me after I shot you? Yeah. Multiple times? Yeah. You're a nice guy. That was good. That's, that that's was good. my no. boy right there, dude. No, that's how no, you do it. I got a spitter to sign us, too. Where is that bitch? Uh, I'm shooting at it right now. I can't see now. Uh, that's the bad got... thing about the blue. I'm a, I'm a demon. Run. You're up. I'm and then I just you. killed 